Peace, family, and peace to the family of George Floyd. It's Buns. I do not want to take too much of y'all time, but I just wanted to say a few things. I know your timeline is inundated with a lot of things going on around the country, in Minneapolis, in Atlanta, in Houston. Um, I know it's a lot of pain and anger right now going on in our community, and I just pray that everybody protect their energy and also stay very astute to the games that the media is playing right now because it's a lot of bullshit going on. It's a lot of things that are not being reported. If you look at the BBC, if you look at Yahoo News, if you look at a lot of different media outlets right now, their headlines and the photos they use in their headlines show black people standing against backdrops of burning buildings with headlines that read shit like, you know, uh, protesters set Minneapolis ablaze and whatnot. And, you know, at face value, if we just went off the headline of that, you know, it would be easy to see like, man, you know, we turning shit up right now. We upset. We I get it. Yeah, we are burning shit up. But the truth is, is that's not what's really going on, man. It's these left wing uh, anti fascist organizations that are predominantly white male women are involved in this organization as well. They have multiple chapters all throughout the country. They are called Antifa, which is short for anti-fascist. They have their own political ideology. They are anti-cop. They are anti-capitalism. They are anti a lot of other shit. But they are coming into our community. They are coming into our community during a time where we are in great pain, where we feel like we have had enough. And they're co-opting our pain to wage their own ideological wars. And they've been doing this for quite some time. There's an author named Mark Bray, who you can hear right here on this podcast, who talks about how to identify who these anti-fascist organizers or so-called activists are. Listen to this. And in terms of the aesthetics, which I think is really fascinating, is the kind of aesthetic of the black bloc, which is where, you know, people dress uniformly in black for direct action on the street. That originated from the German autonomous movement of the 1980s, and that was a strategy that was used against neo-Nazis in the 80s and 90s in Germany. And when you look at these photos, you can clearly see that these are the very individuals that are down in Minneapolis right now, that are down in Atlanta right now, that are down in Houston right now, that are down in Los Angeles right now, right now, waging their own ideological wars on the backs of black pain and suffering. Once again, white liberal organizations are exploiting us for their own ideological gains. Malcolm X warned us about white liberals when he said this. I say that because it is usually the, if you study the structure of the Negro community, economically, politically, civically, psychologically, and otherwise, it's controlled by the white liberal mm -hmm. who usually poses as the friend of the Negro, who actually differs from the white conservative in, in the same way that the fox differs from the wolf. Uh, their appetite is the same. Their motives are the same. It's only their mannerisms and, and methods that differ. So like I said, I'm going to leave it right there. The author's name is Mark Bray. This is his book. You can go check that out, read it. And I think it's important that we understand that, you know, we may see white faces in the crowd. But unfortunately, when they come into our communities and they try to co-opt the mission and wage war with ideas and principles that we may not even be on, I think the only people that suffer is us because the police not coming looking for no white anti-fascist liberal. They come and looking for that black dude that look like me, that look like my brother, that look like my friends, that look like my nephews. They not coming looking for y'all. They coming looking for us. When they look at the headlines, they see us out there burning shit up. But it's y'all. So y'all coming into our communities, setting shit on fire and getting ghosts. And then we got to deal with the police after y'all leave. That shit ain't cool at all. So I'm encouraging everybody to just speak life. Stay astute. Keep locked in on what the mission is. And just be mindful of who calls himself an ally. So, yeah, man, that's my two cents, man. Peace to the family of George Floyd. One more time. Protect your energy, fam.
Peace.